Hi, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. All right, messages for Gemini, what you need to know at this time. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First card out is support your life. Purpose fully supports you. So you're supported and protected right now. Spirit wants you to know that you're supported, you're protected right now. All right, somebody may be traveling. Oh, that says trust. For some reason, I got traveling in my mind. I got, you may be traveling somewhere. Hmm, maybe you're worried about where you're traveling or something. Let me pull it. Okay, you have books, school. Some of you are meant to go back to school. Also, you have light and love. Time to decide counseling and justice. Wow. All right. Some of you may want to be like school counselors. Some of you may be going to court and having to go to, um, sometimes they, they make you go to some sort of counseling program for something. Some of you are going back to school and you're talking to someone who's helping you decide what you want to do. But um, right, what is going on for Gemini? There's a new path opening up for you. Ace of Coin is in the hidden position. Some of you are going to like redo your whole life. You're going to maybe do something new for your career. You're going to get some sort of idea here, but you see in the hidden position, there is an opportunity or an offer or an idea here. It looks like you're going to take it. There may be something in a different country for some of you. Because I think it's about traveling. So that could be like you're moving someplace um, across the ocean or across the country or something like that. Tell me to go to this deck right now. Pull out. There's a message. There's the message. There's going to be some sort of communication. It says, compromise, forgive, work it out. Okay, there's something you're going to find out. You're going to talk to someone. You're going to realize that you're going to let it go. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is like dropping a lawsuit or letting go of an idea. There's something where a conversation is going to give you some key information. Excuse me, because it says, let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. All right, that's good. There's some sort of, um, again, phone call, text coming in for some of you for clarity. It says set sail on a new adventure. So you guys definitely have like a big change coming up here, Gemini. I think your life is going to be very different from a year from now. I mean, probably sooner than that, but I'm saying like all aspects of it could be very different. See things from a higher perspective. Also move towards your goals. You are manifesting your dreams and you will be receiving divine guidance. This conversation, you're gonna have this communication right here, and this is gonna be very helpful. So again, it could be with a boss, it could be with a teacher, it could be with a lover, I mean, whoever it is, it's gonna give you some sort of clarity about what you wanna do next. Okay, what is, and again, maybe it was a counselor, maybe it's a judge, I don't know. I mean, you, it's something here where you're going to get some sort of information and it's gonna help you decide on something. It looks like you are taking a new path. You're not sticking with anything from the past. What is this Two of Swords here with Gemini? The Sun, the Knight of Swords, and the Strength card. I'll take one more. Because you could be dealing with a Leo, specifically for a few of you. But there's something coming in that... Now, this could be a good conversation. Maybe you're moving across seas or something for somebody you love or someone loves you. Because this looks like... This almost looks like you're nervous about the outcome. You're nervous about what you're about to hear. Someone may express their love to you. Gemini, the Two of Cups. This can be partnership as well. Some of you are, are going to like... I'm getting like a love... Uh, somebody may help you find um, like your perfect match, a matchmaker or something. I'm not sure Page of Wands is reverse or upright, but when I picked him up, he is in reverse. I'm going to leave him in reverse. There's definitely messages, communication coming in. It's interesting because under the deck is the Eight of Cups. You may have more than one conversation. You may find out something good from one person and then go have a second conversation based on that first one and then find out something like, okay, so we're all in total agreement. I'm going to move ahead with this. You're going to stay behind. This doesn't work for me anyways. What is this Knight of Wands energy? Because this is you, Four of Cups, the Temperance card, and the Ten of Cups. I just feel the energy right now of a lot of conversations with different people. Some of you, you still talk to your family. You may need to... Um, it's like they, you may need to, you don't need to actually listen to their point of view, but they may want you to stay as opposed to like moving... There's a change here is what I'm feeling. I feel like you're on the go, Gemini. you got a lot happening at once with the Knight of Wands energy. I feel like this is you.
See, I'm getting here. There's somebody who may be, because the page of wands come out in reverse. That could be bad news or no news. Maybe there is a fire sign or somebody who... Well, you, you don't want them, though. It looks like they're hot and cold. What's the tower energy? Because it's maybe this someone who doesn't want a relationship or commitment, and then all of a sudden they see you moving, and now they're like, okay, I'll, I want commitment now. I'd rather be with you than be alone. And but I see you're not taking this. You're walking away from this. And I see you moving. There's something here that's like good, but it's not great. It's like you guys get along, but it's not sparking your interest. Something else is hidden. Something across like the ocean or water possibly, across the body of water or something like that could be where you're meant to be right now. There's something big coming in here where you are going to have to decide what to do and the change you want to make. But you are being guided to go for this. It has something to do with manifesting your dreams and it's like what you really want anyways. It feels like you're kind of not even... Let's see. Telling yourself what you want. It says, go with the flow. Now's your chance. The feminine energy of letting go and your voice matters. Speaking your truth. I just see a window of opportunity here. It's going to come in fast. You're going to have conversations with, I get more than one person now. I'm almost getting for some of you like up to like three different conversations that are important that need to be had. But I get ultimately, I get you are moving forward to something. Like, or you're moving. Tower is moving. Tower is like, I don't want this anymore. This isn't working out for me. It's some of you. It's like, it's, it's, it's comfortable, but it's not exciting. What is this? Two of, two of cups. Yeah. You, but you need to think about this, which I see you thinking and you'll know your answer. You're going to be given guidance. You're supported and protected. Yeah. Making a new decision. Some of you, this is getting out of a long-term relationship. Some of you, this is moving out of a house you've been in for a long time or moving out of your family's home. I feel someone like sighing, like a sigh of relief almost. Reconciliation, reconciliation came out, but it is in reverse, which is interesting. These don't have reversal meanings, but I don't feel like you're going back to the past at all. Past life relationship, pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, I get. I do get there's something here worth waiting for. Something that's more playful and fun. Retreat very soon. Some of you may be going on a retreat. This could be a vacation. It's not really my vacation car. Retreat is like work or something like that. But you may meet this person while doing something fun. You're gonna. I get like the relationships you're dealing with are very hectic, and they're not fun. You want something that's you know lighthearted and fun. That's what I would see here with like the Sun and the Two of Cups. You're not happy. It's also what I'm picking up here. You're not happy with someone. It could be a Taurus or a Virgo. And it could be a job you're not happy with or a career path. Or maybe some of you are also in school. Some of you may wanted it to be, you know, a, wanted to do a certain job or career, but you didn't because you're, of your parents or your family. And you may be you know, having to tell them, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. You need to really stop and just take a look at everything. What's going on around you, where you're not happy. What's not working for you? Who is not in your corner? I feel like for some of you, you could have someone who is gossiping about you also or talking about you. But I get like, I'm not going to like it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. That just flipped right out. You so even have communication with a twin flame. We also have a soulmate who's a beauty queen. See, I get a gossiping about you. Courting man, spiritual growth. I get it's time to move on. I get it's time for you to find your wings and like be free and go do something different. Some of you may be dealing with a twin flame. Maybe there is a lack of communication or you're going to cut this connection off or something. But I get there's somebody new. I get like it's time to go to some, like a different level. It's kind of like you're ascended. You're ascending. It's time to move on. What else for Gemini? Birch. They're saying like birch. I guess that's a cup of wood. I don't know what that means. What else for Gemini? Unfolding surprise. Yeah, I get things. Are, I think you just need to kind of let go of the past and move on and say, okay, I'm ready to go. And you're going to be surprised at what comes in. I get a sigh of relief too. Yep, you're going to walk through the gate. This card always talks about walking through the open gate, leaving what you've known and moving towards something new. Opportunities in home is what the card says. So you could be, again, moving to a different home. And the moon. Cycles and changes. It's time to go. And look at you have gossip and jealousy under this deck as well. So I don't know 
why you're dealing with that Gemini, why people are jealous of you and gossiping, but things are changing for you for the better. So, and it's kind of like something that you need to just go with because it's going to change anyways is what I'm getting. It's like you're kind of being almost forced in a way, but not in a bad way. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Have a great week, you guys.